Hello everyone. Welcome to our new lesson in General Math Made Easy with Teacher Joan. In this video, we are going to talk about real-life situations involving one-to-one -one and inverse functions. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to represent real-life situations using one-to-one -one functions and solve problems involving inverse functions. Let us start with real-life situations involving one-to-one -one functions. There are several situations that can be represented by one-to-one, -one, and these situations involve only one or unique relationship between two variables. Let us have the following examples. First, the relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. Each SSS member can only have one and unique SSS number. Therefore, this example is one-to-one. -one. Second, the relation pairing movie ticket and seat number. Each movie ticket is assigned to a seat number, so this is an example of one-to-one. -one. Third, the relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. A person can possibly have dual citizenship, therefore this is not one-to-one. -one. Now, let us have a drill. Try to answer the following items. Determine if the given situation represents one-to-one -one function or not. You may pause the video to answer the following. Are you done? Let us now check your work. Item number one, a teacher and the number of subjects being taught. This is not one-to-one. -one. A teacher can have multiple subjects to teach. A school's identification card number belonging to a student. This is an example of one-to-one. -one. An identification card number is unique to every student. Third, a person and a passport number. This is also one-to-one. -one. A person can only have one passport number, or no two persons can have the same passport number. Number four, book to authors. This is not one-to-one, -one because a book can have multiple authors. Item number five, vehicle to its plate number. This is one-to-one -one because each vehicle has a unique plate number. At this point, let us now have real-life situations involving inverse functions. To start with, let us have the different formulas. For one-to-one -one functions, let's say we have circumference is equal to the product of pi and diameter, volume of a cube is equal to side cube, and temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. If we are going to manipulate each formula, we will be able to have the inverse functions. For the first, Let's say we are looking for the diameter, it is circumference divided by pi. For the side, it is equal to the cube root of the volume. And for the Celsius, it is equal to 5 over 9 times f minus 32. Where to apply inverse function? The concept of inverse function is applicable in solving word problems involving reversible processes. Reversing the correspondence between two quantities often produces a new function and it is called the inverse of the original function. Jay and Pril are planning for their wedding reception at a water garden hall. It costs them a base fee of 20,000 plus 280 per guest. Their budget for a water garden hall reception is limited to 55,000. Letter A, write the cost as a function of the number of guests. To do this, let us first identify the variables. So we now have the cost, and the number of guests. The number of guests is the independent variable. Since x is the number of guests, let y be the cost. In writing the function, we now have the cost, which is the y, is equal to the base fee, 20,000, plus 280 per guest. So we now have 280x. So this gives us the cost function. For letter B, find the inverse of this function. How do we do that? First, interchange the x and y. So we now have x is equal to 20,000 plus 280y. Next, we need to solve for y. So we now have x minus 20,000 is equal to 280y. Divide both sides by 280. So we now have y is equal to x minus 20,000 over 
280. For letter C, we are asked to find the possible number of guests for a budget of 55,000. In order for us to be able to find the maximum number of guests for this budget, let us write our cost function in terms of function notation. For x, which is the number of guests, let's change this to g to represent the number of guests. For the cost, let us use c. Using function notation, we can easily see the relationship of the two variables. So for y, we can now have c of g, meaning to say the cost is dependent on the value of g or the number of guests is equal to 20,000 plus 280g. And as for the inverse, since we interchange c and g or the x and y, the y here becomes g of c is equal to x minus 20,000 over 280 which is the inverse of the cost function. And in answering letter C, finding the possible number of guests, we will be using the inverse function. G of C, which is the 55,000, is equal to 55,000 minus 20,000 over 280. Why did we use the inverse function? Since in letter C, the given is 55,000, which is the cost, it is indeed necessary to use the inverse function. So simplifying this, we will be having 35,000 divided by 280, and this gives us a value of 125. This 125 refers to the maximum number of guests that we could have if we have a budget of 55,000 for this reception. Second problem, let f of a is equal to a over 200, where f of a is the number of gallons of paint and a is the area to be painted in square meter. Find the formula for the inverse of a. Looking at our function, we have f of a is equal to a over 200. To find this inverse, let us first change the variables. So f of a will become y and a will become x. In doing this, we can easily find the inverse of this function. Now, let us interchange x and y. So we now have x is equal to y over 200. Solve for y, so we need to multiply both sides by 200. So we now have 200, x is equal to y. And to find the inverse, let us now change the y to f inverse of a. So we now have f inverse of a is equal to 200 times a. So this gives us the inverse function. For letter B, evaluate and interpret f of 100 and f inverse of 100 for the house painting function. So for f of 100, the 100 here refers to the area, meaning we have 100 square meters and we are looking for the number of gallons to be used. In doing this, we now have 100 as the value of A over 200, and this gives us 1 half. What is the meaning of this? So this means 1 half gallon of paint is needed for 100 square meters area. How about for F inverse of 100? Since we interchange the variables, this 100 refers to the number of gallons and the F inverse refers to the area to be painted. So in doing this, we now have 200 times A, which refers to the number of gallons of paint. This gives us a value of 20,000. What is the meaning of this? This means that 100 gallons of paint would cover 20,000 square meters area. Third problem, Rose is the loving mother of Joan. The relationship of their ages is given by f of x is equal to 3x plus 15. Letter A, what does f inverse of x represent 
if f of x is the age of the mother. Find the f inverse of x. Here in this problem, since f of x represents the age of the mother, this f inverse of x is represented by the daughter's age. So it means to say that x here represents the mother's age. Since we already know the meaning of each variable, let us now find the inverse function. First, change f of x to y. Second, interchange x and y. Third step, solve for the value of y. So we need to isolate the 3y. So we now have x minus 15 is equal to 3y. To remove 3, we need to divide both sides by 3. So now we have the value, which is f inverse of x is equal to x minus 15 over 3. So what is the use of this function? This function is used to find the age of the daughter given the age of the mother, which is represented by x. So letter B, we are asked to find the f inverse of 45 and interpret the value. So again, here in this inverse function, the f inverse represents the daughter's age and the x value represents the mother's age. So meaning we are looking for the age of the daughter. So we now have f inverse of 45 is equal to 45 minus 15, we're following this inverse function, over 3. Simplifying the numerator, we now have 30 over 3, and this gives us a value of 10. So the f inverse of 45 is 10. What is the meaning of this? This means that the age of the daughter is 10 years old, who is Joan. After solving problems where inverse function can be used, here is the key takeaway for this topic. The concept of inverse function is applicable in solving word problems involving reversible processes. Can you think of real-life scenarios around you that are reversible? I hope you could give some examples. Here is the end of our lesson. I hope you have learned a lot in this video. Please don't forget to like and comment in this video. Bye everyone. See you next time.